what do you guys actually do with Hyperland to make it approachable? Because it's a tiling window manager. These can be, especially if you're dealing with them out of the box, can be a bit of a... A bit of a problem to initially get running. Initially get, like... Maybe not running, but get it into a state where it's comfortable. Yeah, so the, the Hypon version is kind of my baby. Mm -hmm. Being a Hypon main. Um, we approach it a couple of ways. So, like, the bar we use is a is quick shell, and it's a custom mm -hmm. bar that we wrote. Mm -hmm. It's not, like, a... It's not just way bar skinned. Um... That means we can tailor it to what we think people want and what people need and only have those things. Same with like the application launcher, we use Walker, just because it's feature rich. Uh, we also have a quite a large amount of things like window rules automatically mm -hmm. set up. And we have like a NVIDIA defaults if you're installing by the NVIDIA ISO that set some of the environment variables up for NVIDIA for you, because that mm -hmm. can be a bit Bit of a pain on on Hyperland. Mm -hmm. um, we don't. I didn't want to go like full GUI settings apps and helper apps and stuff because I think the idea of you, if you're wanting to switch to Tiling Window Manager, you need to be embracing right. that workflow rather mm -hmm. than just trying to turn it into like a, a weird version of floating. Right, um, right. Which there's nothing wrong with those approaches, but. Uh, I think there is kind of a, a middle ground you can you can achieve. Like our, our default Hyperland package, like desktop package, includes it just includes a lot of like a file manager, a, a GUI file sure, manager, sure. and yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah, fonts, icons, BTK themes, all this kind of all the kind of stuff that's just just a chore to set up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, without doing too much, because yeah. It, we want you to get used to using it and understanding it rather than just providing everything for you and you're not actually learning anything. Right. This is something I see with a lot of... Because um, a lot of distros have had like i3 spins for a long time or uh, maybe you'll see like an awesome WM spin, things like that. And it ends up basically being... They're trying to build a desktop environment out of a window manager. And some people like that experience. So if that if that's what you want to go with, like, hey, that that's cool. But I, I do appreciate the trying to trying to keep that idea of what a window manager is just at, at its core as a way that it's approachable, but not not a whole different experience built on top of it. Yeah, we are also leaning into the hyper ecosystem as well. So there's like things like hyper idols automatically set up, hyper lock, hyper paper, mm -hmm. that kind of all, all those kind of things that if you were doing it manually, you'd be like, oh, why doesn't my screen lock after a while? That kind of thing. If right, you, if right. you need to a Tyler. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, we don't want to, I don't want to do everything for everybody. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, end of the day, people aren't people aren't gonna want my exact setup anyway, right? Mm -hmm. So there's no point just including everything for everyone. Right. Just, that, just that use sense. GNOME at that point. <laughs> uh, with the the GNOME and KDE editions, are those like how are those configured? Are they relatively clean? Are they themed in a certain way? Like, what's been done with those? Oh yeah, I uh, yeah, handle the GNOME and KDE editions. Mm -hmm. Uh, basically, no. Uh, it used to be themed, mm -hmm. and K and KDE used to be themed way back. Uh, KDE had that uh, dirty quantum issue where it would stress the GPU. Uh huh. So we dro we dropped theming along with Cache OS. Mm -hmm. I think it's fixed now. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, uh, we dropped theming uh, when they added the, the a new accent color system. Uh, sorry if you can hear a bunch of birds flying over. I, I don't know if that's coming through. Uh, no, it's not coming okay, through. Good. The audio is clean. Okay, uh, cool, cool. 
the the gnome edition has a program called gnome uh, pika gnome layouts okay uh it it's it's ba it basically was used to configure the accent color of our custom theme mm -hmm. and uh, with a single button it would configure your extensions to be like windows 10 11 mac os ubuntu's unity mm -hmm. revert back to the the gnome experience mm -hmm. it's uh, inspired by the zorian os thing oh. that's cool yeah but now it's only for this layout because and the accent buttons are just another copy of the ones in gnome system settings mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah like we, we really like themes and making the distro pop even more mm -hmm. uh, but uh, there's not a lot of jtk4 themes that are uh, uh, that are standard compliant right we used to use like themes from uh, Vince Lean. Mm -hmm. Vince Lean, what, what, whatever he's the one that makes white, sir. Uh, uh, so we used his name, or orcus. Sorry? Uh, white, sir. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. But we didn't use that one. We used the orcus. Mm -hmm. uh, it looked cool. But uh, w when it got when GNOME got to version like forty six, mm -hmm. it the his CSS were way way off standard. Like stuff like dark mode mm -hmm. wouldn't work normally, and, it, and the new accent model it, it doesn't work. Like you have to change the CSS for both of these things in GNOME forty six and forty seven now. Mm -hmm. uh, so we dropped it. Mm -hmm. We dropped the eye candy to have a better default experience. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, uh, the DEs are st stuck right now, but they weren't always like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially with GNOME, like that's kind of the direction they want you to go in anyway. I would not be surprised if sometime in the relatively near future uh i i would not be surprised if gtk5 does not support user theming and that if that happens outside of like accent colors if that happens i don't think anyone would be surprised time to switch to qt7 <laughs> Uh, fork off of GTK three. That's what uh, that's what distros like Cinnamon are working on. <laughs> I didn't like that because like G GTK four is like still themable. You could just perhaps improve the standard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And GTK three like is an older technology. That GTK four renderer is way better. Mm -hmm. Like fork it. Like at least fork it GTK four. Why GTK three? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that well I don't know, a lot of people felt like the the GTK four was a a big break in direction. Like GTK one, two, three, it felt like a continuous line. And then four for a lot of people felt like they had a very different focus. The focus was no longer just on the desktop. Now you had that mobile focus there as well. And you're gonna have mobile design language going into it, which I un I, like, I I get as a complaint. I personally don't really use uh, Libid Waiter applications, especially, but mostly don't really use GTK4 stuff at this point. Um, but that's just yeah. that's just me. I'm not gonna tell someone not to use it if they like the direction things are going. Hey, more power to you. Do that. Yeah, I, That's fine. I, I mean, as a developer, both Libat White and GTK are still themable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are. So, as as a co as a code base, like uh, I would start mo modifying that. Mm -hmm. Like it has a Vulkan renderer, and the, the fonts are, became better and such, and it has mm -hmm. way better Wayland integration. Like, mm -hmm. why do you go with GTK three? Mm -hmm. I was confused when you covered that. 
uh, covered what the 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 mint uh, forking GTK three. Oh, that yeah yeah yeah. Right, that happened a while ago. <laughs> I it's always fun yeah, when like... people remember the the videos I make more than I do. <laughs> I forgot I even made that. Yeah, I, I, I get it, right? Like they've, they've like, Mint likes to be very slow and particular about how they move, and they don't, they they never want to have a big UI upset that is gonna, is gonna break from what they currently have. 